Hello! It is a warm day in Seattle today. I just got back from a five mile casual walk around Green Lake. Um, if you know, you know. And I thought for this week, since um, I'm gonna be leaving uh, just in a few days to go on my summer trip this year, that'd give you a little bit of a preview. So um, I leave, fly from here to London Heathrow, and um, then I'm going to end up down on the Isle of Wight. So let me get a visual aid. Visual aid acquired. So um, obviously the United Kingdom. Um, I, so I'm gonna be flying into London, well, Heathrow, and then I'm gonna be going down to the Isle of Wight. So I'll be there for about five days. Hopefully there's supposed to be like a this really cool hike that you can do out to this little like cliff face here. Um, probably explore the island quite a bit. Then I'm going to take the ferry back and head over to Weymouth, which is here. Um, and I'll be here actually here for about eight days, which is a little unusual for me. In the past, I've tried to like spend mm, somewhere between two and four days in each place that I'm staying the night and kind of do stuff there and then move on to the next place. Last summer, as you know, I was uh, walking part of the Southwest Coast Path and the way that I needed to set things up, I was actually staying in one place for um, somewhere between five to seven nights. Um, and then I'd kind of do a little, you know, take the bus out from there and do all this other stuff and blah, 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 blah. Um, and this year I'm kind of going to try the same thing, but with less of an agenda. So, um, trying to make all that mileage was rough <laughs> on my body and like my spirit. Um, and it wasn't like quite as restorative as I wanted it to be because I didn't have time to kind of stop and enjoy it and kind of be in the moment as much. So I'm hoping to switch that up this year. Um, as you can see on the map that I was showing you, um, I'm going to be in an area that's really close to the coast. Actually, let me show you. So all this area here, out to the Isle of Portland, and then all this area up and around to Swanage. That's all part of the Southwest Coast Path. Last summer, just for a point of reference, I was over here, so I started in Tentagel here, and I walked all the way down here to Sending Cove, which is right around there. Um, so that whole bit of the coast. Uh, the path actually starts back up here um, in Minehead, right there. And you go all the way around, do, 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 do and then it ends here in pool. So um, I'm gonna be in three different sections. So obviously the Weymouth section, and then I'm gonna actually go back to Long Rock, which is right here by Panzance. And um, as you know, I stopped over here so I can like do this whole area if I want. And then I'm also gonna be up north here in this little place called Ilfracum, I think, question mark. That's how it's spelled. Um, so I'll be there for a handful of days as well. And I can do a little bit of walking around here. Um, so a little bit of this part of the area is in the Exmoor National Park, which I really want to do that section. So, you know, if I make the sections around there, cool. If I don't, that's fine. If I do some of them, not others, that's also fine. But um, I'm going to eventually take the train to Exeter. And then I'm going to fly over to, oh, well, this is off my map, I think. But, oh no, kind of. Okay, so this is the very top of the um, Channel Isles, or Ch Channel Islands, I guess. Um, there's Guernsey and Sark, and then down here, off the map, is Jersey. So I'm gonna spend about nine, 10 days uh, hopping around those three islands um, before I fly over to, well, obviously off my map, but <laughs> Madrid. So I'm gonna meet my friend in Madrid and we're gonna be there for about a week together. Um, we'll be a few nights in Madrid, a few nights in Toledo, and a few nights in Avila, maybe? That's how you pronounce it. We'll find out when we're there. Um, but it's like A-V-I-L-A. -A. Um, so we'll be there. And then I'm actually gonna fly back to New England with her on the East Coast of the US um, to see her family. Um, this is the same people that I uh, did Canada with last summer. Um, before I come back to Seattle. And then kind of part two of my summer begins. I'm gonna do a road trip down to California through some of the US national parks, um, see some friends in the Bay Area, and then end up camping um, on the Columbia River with a different group of friends before making my way back to Seattle in mid-August. So it's gonna be a pretty big summer, um, pretty busy, but that was the same last year and I really enjoyed it. So um, hopefully the summer will be just as great and um, I'll, take you along and show you some of the things that I'm getting up to.
And for those of you who are interested in my gear conversation in the last video, um, I decided I'm going to take my Temp Tempest 20, which is an Osprey, um, with me as a day pack. And then this is how I pack. It's just a pile of stuff. <laughs> and then the same backpack I took last year is going to kind of be my bigger suitcase. Um, so it's a Fairview Trek 50. Um, it is the women's want fit. So there's that. And I think I've decided on these shoes. Um, long story short, the other ultras ended up being not cushiony enough here in the heel, and I was super sore after my last hike. So I am tr I tried out these today. These are ultra as well. They're the Olympus something something, but they're the waterproof ones. So the waterproofing worked in my bathtub. We'll see if it works on like the actual trail and if these hold up to the type of walking I'm going to do. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about them um, from my friend Lindsay, who. Um, has done the Camino de Santiago and has done a lot, of, a lot of other backpacking and stuff like that. So fingers crossed. Okay. See you next week.